The film we'll be discussing today is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom 2018. We saw a submarine at the beginning of the movie. It took place in the sea. It was on the lookout for dinosaur DNA. A few years ago, the dinosaur wreaked havoc on the world. Fortunately, after a few tries, that submarine discovers the dinosaur's DNA. It transports it to the sea's upper layer. It was also about to be released. Meanwhile, it is confronted by a massive and frightening dinosaur. That dinosaur goes inside the submarine. This submarine was not transmitting any signals. It was destroyed because it was destroyed. On the island outside the water, there were additional members of the team. They were concerned since the signals were not reaching them. What happened, even they don't know. A member of the team was attempting to contact them. Then he gets the feeling that someone is following him. When he turned back, he was confronted by a gigantic dinosaur. He becomes terrified and flees to his aircraft. He breaks a remote while sprinting. It was the inside the sea remote control for a door. It was put in place to keep the dinosaurs at bay. Because the door wasn't properly shut, a slew of dinosaurs emerged. The frightened team member makes it to the chopper. They flee from there before the dinosaur onslaught. That comrade was on the helicopter's tail. He had no idea that another dinosaur will emerge from the sea. That man is devoured by the dinosaur that emerges from the water. The others, on the other hand, take off with the dinosaur's DNA right away. On the other hand, we hear in the news about dinosaurs destroying Jurassic Park. There was a volcano eruption there after three years of it. The volcano is now erupting there. They're all hoping that all of the dinosaurs will perish there. Following that, a meeting of legislators and ministers was held. They were overjoyed about it. Believe the dinosaurs will die out on their own. They won't have to put forth a lot of effort to exterminate the dinosaurs. Because those dinosaurs were causing a slew of issues for everyone. They were making fun of them. This period is the best. We can see the main character of the film here. Claire receives a phone call from an elderly gentleman. Is it possible for him to meet her? I'd like to discuss the dinosaurs and the volcano. Claire pays him a visit. He was the old man's caregiver, and the man who welcomed her there was the elderly man's caretaker. He is his employee. The elderly gentleman arrives in a wheelchair. He tells Claire that a man who enjoys dinosaurs would be a good match for her. He desired for them to be free. He did not want dinosaurs to coexist with humans. They enjoy their lives to the fullest. This is something I agree with. I feel that dinosaurs should be protected. They are animals, hence I believe they should be sent to an island. As a result, the volcano will not be able to finish them. Claire is shown several dinosaurs by the man who lives with the elderly man who says, Indoraptors are the dinosaurs of this period. They're not like the other dinosaurs. They have the ability to ponder and are wise and energetic. Their DNA has been altered as well, and we must save them. He also asks Claire if she knows anyone who knows about dinosaurs. And can you tell us more about this dinosaur? Yes, Claire responds. He's the one who was the major character in the first part. Owen is what it means. They are now going to the man together, because Owen is familiar with raptor behavior and has seen them up close. Claire wants to be a part of their strategy. Owen is first adamant in his refusal. Claire, on the other hand, asks, do you remember, you are those small dinosaurs best friend. Keep in mind that if a volcano erupts, they will perish as well. Owen is now preparing to assist her. They form a team when they work together. There was a girl who was a doctor in this story. There's also a boy who runs the system. It denotes that he is a professional engineer. After that, they all fly to the island. When they arrive, they see that something is wrong. To track down the dinosaurs, the engineer discovers those dinosaurs while hacking the system. The person in charge of that location requests Owen's permission to go capture the dinosaur. Others join them in their search for their team's dinosaur. They were accompanied by soldiers. They hunted for those dinosaurs in a short period of time. Owen was buddies with those dinosaurs. Owen approaches them and attempts to remind them that they were once excellent friends. He was attempting to settle it down. However, before they can take control, 
The in-charge soldiers make them faint. Owen arrives enraged. Why did you bring me with you if you had to do this? He is asked to remain silent by the in-charge. While injecting anything, he also makes Hume pass out. He then departs with his team after that. Claire and the engineer can be seen on the opposite side. He was in charge of the system at the time. But the volcano erupted. Everything begins to tremble, even the structure where they were also drowning. As a result, the exit route is also blocked. They become concerned. The engineer opens the second exit door while hacking the system. The problem is that the door opens in the middle of a forest. That's how a dinosaur gets into their building. That dinosaur greets them before they leave. They are now even more terrified. The engineer begins to yell. But Claire intervenes by pointing to a ladder. It indicates that we can proceed upward from here. They've climbed the ladder and are now on their way upstairs and slams the door shut. As a result, the dinosaur is unable to ascend the steps. On the other hand, we come across Owen in the woods. A rhinoceros that looks like a dinosaur approaches him. While licking his face, she brings him back to his senses. Owen, on the other hand, was not in his head. However, as he regained consciousness, he discovered lava all around him. He becomes terrified and flees the scene as soon as possible. He encounters Claire and the engineer on the way while running. They sprint towards the coast as a group. They were also accompanied by dinosaurs. They were trying to get away from the lava. To avoid the dinosaurs, they hide. They get into a vehicle and take a seat inside. So they may get away from the dinosaurs and flee. But then there's the dinosaur. They were all in the car now, except Owen, who was remained outside. The automobile door closes just as he seats down. Outside, Owen and the dinosaurs were. Owen was about to be attacked by a dinosaur. Fortunately, a T-Rex dinosaur appears. He grabs it by the neck and throws it to the ground. T-Rex takes over after that, minding its own business. Owen also visits the beach. They notice that these dinosaurs were being transported somewhere. They, too, are following them. However, Owen notices that several dinosaurs remain on the island. They're on fire there. We see them on a ship on the other side. They were accompanied by a little dinosaur. It was shot with a bullet and was bleeding. It is looking for the blood of any dinosaur who has the same DNA as it. The T-Rex dinosaur was the culprit. It. Fortunately, it was aboard their ship. Claire takes a sample of the creature's blood. The doctor administers treatment to the small dinosaur while utilizing it. However, they were concerned. That's where those dinosaurs were going, right? When they are pursued, they learn that they will be transporting them to the home of that elderly man. He told Claire that he intends to create a dinosaur-only island to keep them on it safely, but it was a fabrication. He really wants to do it, so, so he can bring all dinosaurs here to sell and profit handsomely. In that old house, there is also a girl. She was one of the old man's descendants. When she learns of the elderly man's scheme, she becomes enraged. He's preparing to put the dinosaurs up for sale. She approaches him and inquires. He, on the other hand, denies it. While stating that it is your sleeping time, you have misheard. When the man returns to the old man's room after a while, who is his roommate? From their talk, we learn that the old man was not part of the plot. It was all part of this man's strategy. The person who lives with the elderly person and the old guy yells at him, are you selling the dinosaurs? The man answers no, and the old man says that if you're doing it, you should stop. But how could he allow this to happen? He squandered a lot of cash. He places the cushion to the old man's face and stops his breathing. The old man's stick falls and breaks. The man locks the girl in her room, but she instantly returns to her grandfather's chamber. She notices him and learns that he is no longer alive. She begins to cry. On the other hand, who was in command of this island at the time. Owen and Claire are held captive and imprisoned. Owen and Claire were concerned at this point about how to get out of this situation. Meanwhile, they hear a dinosaur's voice. It was kept in a cage beside their room. Owen notices it and attempts to divert his attention away from it. As a result, it will appear enraged and act in the same manner. The little dinosaur shatters the room's wall. Then Owen drew it towards him by climbing up the room's door. When the dinosaur approaches him quickly, it collides with the door, which then opens. They're on their way to the old man.
man now. They meet the girl on the way and she informs them that he is no longer alive. She embraces them. She explains who the devious man is who planned to sell the dinosaurs with it. He's down in the cellar. So, what's going on in the basement now? The cunning man was accompanied by a doctor and together they created a dinosaur. It was quite hazardous. It detects lasers in areas where they have fallen and makes them its target. There were others who wanted to buy it and were bidding on it. Owen and Claire were surreptitiously listening in on everything. In the meantime, the little dinosaur arrives. Owen considers enlisting its assistance once more. He diverts its attention and confines it to the basement. The individuals present were terrified when they saw it. They emerge from that location Location. Outside, we see the places in charge. He takes advantage of the opportunity and goes inside. He was interested in dinosaur teeth since he liked to collect them. He notices the dinosaur that the crowd was bidding on. The crowd had gathered to purchase it. He injects it with something to make it faint so he can remove its tooth. The dinosaur faints as he injects the injection with his pistol. In fact, though, it did not fade. It was all in good fun. When the in charge went inside the car and tried to pull its tooth out, the dinosaur comes to its senses, that is, it ceases to act. It encircles and consumes him. The dinosaur is now free to roam the area. We see the dinosaur's creator, a doctor. He was preparing to flee when he took the DNA of the other dinosaurs. However, the engineer, who was a member of Owen and Claire's team, is being held captive. He then makes him pass out. The guards arrive to apprehend them. The doctor and the engineer, on the other hand, open the small dinosaur's cage. As a result, it emerges and murders all of the guards. It throws them while slamming against the ground. It causes them harm. They perish as a result of it. As the guards attempted to defend themselves, they open fire on the dinosaur. A tank is shot by a bullet. It emits hydrogen gas as a result of it. That location is on fire. Fortunately, the doctor, engineer, and the small dinosaurs are able to flee the scene. However, the gas quickly spreads over the area. The engineer tries to break into the system here. As a result, he will be able to stop some paths to prevent the spread of the gas. On the other hand, we see Owen and Claire standing in front of a new massive dinosaur. Owen switches off all of the lights in the room. As a result, the dinosaur will be unable to see them. However, when the engineer reboots the machine, things go wrong. The light is switched on. Owen was able to turn it off. As a result, the dinosaur notices them. On the other side of the mirror, there were. The dinosaur approaches them while smashing the mirror. The girl begins to scream. She flees the scene as quickly as she can. The dinosaur follows her, listening to her speech. Claire instructs Owen to go quickly to the girl's aid. With his gun, Owen approaches the dinosaur from behind that had entered the girl's chamber while chasing her. The girl was lying in her bed, pretending to sleep. As a result, she will not be harmed by the dinosaur. The dinosaur, on the other hand, approaches her while smelling her. It was on the verge of encircling her, but then Owen shows up. While opening the door, he fires at it. The rifle, however, was empty of ammunition. It has no negative impact on the dinosaur. Owen is now drawn to it. Meanwhile, a little dinosaur appears. It swoops down on the massive dinosaur's neck. It keeps it in place. They get into a fight. Owen and Claire take advantage of the opportunity and were exiting the building on the opposite side. But how far can a small dinosaur combat a massive dinosaur? It is soon harmed. Owen and Claire are once again pursued by the massive dinosaur. Owen was with the girl. They've all climbed to the top of that building now. They were also being pursued by the dinosaur. When it approached them from behind, the glass roof began to shatter. The small the small dinosaur then leaps onto the huge dinosaur. The roof collapses due to their weight, and then they crumble. Under that ceiling was the skeleton of a massive dinosaur. Its razor-sharp bones were visible from the outside. The bones 
remains in its body step when the huge dinosaur falls on it. There, it perishes. The little dinosaur? No. As a result, it was safely observing the enormous dinosaur. Nothing has happened to it, and we believe that all issues have been resolved. But what about the gas that's making its way into the basement? The most important thing is that the dinosaurs in the basement will perish. These dinosaurs must be saved by this crew. They now proceed to the system room where they can control everything. We'll open their cage and let them free. According to Claire, she is about to press the entrance gate button. Owen informs her that a populous region is nearby. If those dinosaurs perish, it may have a negative impact on the population. Claire comes to a halt here, but the gas quickly spreads across the basement. Those dinosaurs become breathless as a result of it. They were on the verge of passing away. However, the girl's heart trembles, and she rushes to open the front gate. All of the dinosaurs emerge. In the film's final scene, we see that dinosaurs and humans will coexist. With that, the film comes to a close. Thank you for taking the time to watch.